Getting some breaking news. FINRA has announced a fine against trading platform Robinhood. Kate Rooney has details. Hi, Kate. Hey, Carl. Good morning. Robinhood reaching a settlement this morning with one of its regulators, FINRA. The total fine here for Robinhood, $70 million, $57 million of that was the fine, and about $13 million of that is going to restitution to, quote, thousands of harmed customers, as FINRA put it. This had to do with Robinhood's options trading practices and outages from March of last year. FINRA mentions those outages. They talk about customer service issues from previous years. FINRA saying, in part, this action sends, quote, a clear message to all of its member firms that they have to comply with the brokerage industry rules. And, guys, a little bit of context here. Robinhood had set aside some money for this, about $26 million in preparations for a fine. They disclosed this back in March that this was coming. Today's fine, roughly double or more than double what they had forecast. And Robinhood is neither admitting or denying allegations. I do have a statement here from Robinhood. They say, quote, Robinhood has invested heavily in improving platform stability, enhancing our educational resources and building out our customer support and legal and compliance teams. They say we are glad to put this matter behind us. We look forward to continuing our focus on customers and democratizing finance for all. And guys, this is not the first FINRA fine for Robinhood. The startup was dinged back in 2019 for violating best execution practices. That was a much smaller number. It was about or less than $2 million at the time. The company is expected to file IPO paperwork soon. Some of these FINRA settlements and regulatory issues had been a big overhang. And at least with one regulator, FINRA here, the path uh, appears to be cleared for an IPO. The company has been a huge beneficiary of this retail boom. We'll hopefully have more on that IPO soon in the coming weeks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.